Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2005 Dutchman Dorado Class B Plus motorhome. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside tour of this Dutchman Dorado. As always, I will start at the front, make my way towards the rear of the coach. I'll then come back towards the front. I'm going to try to get you a few different angles so you get a feel for the overall space as well as the overall condition. We are a small family-owned and operated dealership. My father started this business back in 1976. Myself and my brother have taken over the day-to-day -day operations. You are more than welcome to spend up to eight hours during our regular business operating hours touring this one or any one of our RVs. We want you to make sure that you find the RV that is the right fit for you. We want you to be happy with your purchase. We will demo your purchase with you to your content to make sure that you're ready to go out and go camping and have some excitement. The front two chairs here are leather. This unit will sleep up to four people. We can sleep two on the jackknife sofa here. I will pop that down on the way back towards the front so you can see what it looks like when the bed there is down. Uh, this does have a single slide out unit. This is a or single slide. This is a six foot slide out. It's on the driver's side of the unit. We've got storage overhead and the slide out houses the dinette. The dinette will drop down into a bed. You're going to drop this table down, span this gap here. It'll basically fill in that square or rectangle. Uh, you'll bring your bottom cushions towards the center, drop your back cushions down. You're going to make a, a bed there for two people. Uh, we do have carpeting in the living slash bedroom space here with uh, vinyl flooring in the kitchen bath slash entry area We've got a nice maple finished cabinetry all the way throughout again lots of storage overhead on this side as well we got our thermostat for our propane furnace as well as our ducted air conditioning on the passenger side of the unit uh, this is a uh, pantry here and this is the refrigerator. Uh, both of those doors swing towards the front, so I'm gonna open those on our way back towards the front of the unit. Uh, we have a little flip up extra extension here on the counter if you need a little extra space. I'm gonna pop down here and show you, this is half of the control center here. We've got a remote start for our Onan 4K gasoline generator. That is showing 372 hours, I believe it says there. Um, this has dual fuel on the hot water heater, so we've got electric or propane. For the hot, hot, hot water heater, uh, this has an Arctic package. Arctic package is a little extra insulation underneath, as well as heated holding tanks. So we've got a, a holding tank heater on both the black and the gray water tanks. And this switch here is to run our slide out in and out. Nice big countertop area. The dual basin kitchen sink here also has this cover on top of that, so it gives you extra counter space when you're getting ready and or serving. Again, two basin kitchen sink there. Got some cabinetry with some storage overhead of the kitchen sink. We got our microwave. The rest of our control center, we're gonna hold our test switch here. It lights up our gauges to tell us how much is in our holding tanks, fresh water tank, our LP, as well as our battery charge, water pump switch, and our uh, hood light. Got the next backsplash up there behind the cooktop. That is a three burner cooktop has the full oven below that. Um, so I'm gonna skip the bathroom. I'm gonna go back over towards the entry area and then we'll come into the bathroom. Uh, brown panel there is our circuit breakers as well as our fuse panel. Fire extinguisher, the black switch you can kind of see down there. That is our battery disconnect switch. Then we have a couple of light switches uh, for the exterior as well as uh, just light switches, I believe. Sorry, <laughs> a couple of draw drawers. Um, this is intended to be the wardrobe. Got the crank handle for the awning back there. And then a rod to hang your clothes there as well. 
pull a 180 here and show you the kitchen again before I hop into the bathroom. Nice big kitchen area. You can see storage all the way around there. Coming into the restroom, uh, one of the things that's really popular about this floor plan, BT Cruiser, uh, several different manufacturers make a floor plan like this. You got this nice big rear bath in it. Uh, you've got your toilet, your bathroom sink, your medicine cabinet. Uh, this thing is still only 24 and a half foot long. You can sleep four people uh, and you still get a pretty nice sized bathroom in this. Uh, it has the skylight there, you can see. Gives you a little extra headroom if you're a taller person. So you've got a 24 and a half foot bumper to bumper unit. Still pretty easy to park, pretty easy to get around in. Uh, not cumbersome to drive, but you still can sleep four people and you get this nice big bathroom is one of the biggest selling points in these. Uh, again, Gulfstream BT Cruiser Series, they made quite a few of these. Uh, it's one of their really popular floor plans. I honestly have not, uh, I've seen a couple of these Dutchman Dorados. Uh, this is made by Four Winds International. I have not had one of these Dutchman Dorados yet, but this thing is laid almost ident identical to the Gulfstream BT Cruiser. Really nice popular floor plan. Uh, I'm going to show you, I promise I'd show you the inside of the fridge here. This is uh, propane or 110. It's a two way fridge. Have the nice big freezer compartment, separate door freezer compartment up top there. Pantry, we've got shelvings in here, shelving in here. Uh, these are modular, adjustable. You can put these wherever you want to. Uh, I've got some drawer uh, plastic storage totes there. Those were there from the previous owner. I'm gonna leave those in there for you. Where did the king keep his armies? In his sleeveys. That joke was brought to you today by a customer that I actually had in here about an hour ago. Um, told me he likes my jokes and my riddles, so he had one for me. So that is his riddle. Where did the king keep his armies? In his sleeveys. Again, lots of storage on either side up top. So we're going to sleep two there. We're going to sleep two there as well. Um, carpet up here. Got a little bit of fading in this area. I'm not trying to hide anything. You can see a little bit of fading through here. Uh, the carpet is not stained really by any means. I'm going to pull the rug up here. So you know somebody's going to ask, is the carpet bad under the rug? Is it hiding something? No. Uh, carpet's just a little faded from some age. Drop this jackknife sofa down so you can see that. not going to drop the dinette down because that's pretty difficult to do with one hand uh, but you can it doesn't come out or get any bigger it's basically the, the dinette there um 32 inch samsung flat screen tv up front here uh, my guys actually reworked this the previous owner sorry you're looking at a black screen but uh, the previous owner had put this bigger tv in but he kind of mounted it up pretty not that great i guess i should say uh, my guys reworked this, put those on a top pin so you can swing this up. You can still have some pretty good storage here behind the TV that you can access. On either side of the TV, on the passenger side, you've got your DVD player, some storage, some manuals there, all your electrical connections there for your TV. On the driver's side, nice big storage compartment. I'm not going to show you the inside of every cabinet, but I'm going to show you these up here because we've got the manuals. Um, this is mostly all manuals. There's a couple service records in here, uh, but mainly all manuals. Three ring, hole punched, the Ford manual, and the manual put out by Four Winds International for the coach. Uh, overall, my rating on this thing, uh, the outside shined up pretty nicely. Uh, it is a 2005 model. It has just right at 70,000 miles on it. Uh, still has a pretty good shine on the outside. Interior cleaned up pretty well. Uh, not really any damage anywhere. A couple spots like the carpet just show a little bit of age from fading. A little bit of wear and tear. Um, the rug there is <laughs> there from where I pulled it back so you can see the carpet. Uh, I'm going to call this thing an 8, 8.5. Uh, pretty nice clean coach overall. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976. Okay, I got one more short segment here that I want to throw in here for you. Uh, this is with the slide out in. I know some people sometimes ask, 
Uh, what's it look like with a slide out in? This coach is still fully usable. Still got a nice sized aisle down through here. Uh, so if you pull into that rest stop for the night, you don't have to run the slide out out. You still have access to both beds. You can still put the dinette down, even with the jackknife down. Uh, you're still able to walk through there. So that's what it looks like with the slide out in. If you have any questions, again, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. We are located at State Route 18 in Sherwood, Ohio. All right, folks, I'm going to run around the outside of this Dutchman Dorado with you. We are 24 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. The tires are Michelins and have date codes of 1415. We have a 12 foot awning. This is on the Ford E350 chassis. It's powered by the 6.8 liter V10 engine. We have storage compartment number one, storage compartment number two, propane tank, fill for our onboard freshwater tank, a couple of exterior outlets, vents and access to the back of the refrigerator. Storage compartment number three. Vents and access to the back of the hot water heater. Coming around to the rear of the coach, you can see we have the ladder that goes up onto the roof. We have the backup camera, spare tire. You can see this is a one piece molded fiberglass back panel here. Got the tow package down bottom. Coming around to the driver's side corner, we have our black and gray water tanks, sewer hose storage, previous owner used storage compartment number here to house their uh, things for their sewage hose and things of that nature, gasoline tank, city water connection, shore power cord storage, this is going to be cable TV and telephone jack vent for the propane furnace. We are underneath the slide out now. Uh, this is the coach battery. And the last but not least, your Onan 4K gasoline generator.